Hi, this is Dr. Derek. It's Monday afternoon. I'm here on my lunch break in my office. And in my last video, I share with you that at the last seminar I attended in San Diego, it was a cranial seminar, I was really impressed how important it is to understand and know how the cranial bones move so that um, because they have such an influence on the spine, 80% of the nervous system is from the neck up. And so I enrolled in a four month cranial certification program. And this past weekend was our first seminar. And I discovered at the seminar that certain bones uh, that misalign in the cranium can actually cause low back pain. Now, for years I've known that when somebody comes in with a hot low back, the pain is rarely actually coming from the back itself. It's, there's often a primary cause that's in somewhere else in the body. Typically I found that to be in the neck, but this weekend I discovered and I learned how I can actually work in those areas above the neck and the cranium that can make a huge profound impact. And so I got some footage here, the video, uh, video on video of the seminar of the instructor sharing how the low back is associated with the cranium up here. You can have tenderness up here in the sagittal suture in the top of your head. If you do, it could be indicative that you have a low back problem now or you will have one here in the future. And uh, I got so excited about this. I just wanted to share it with you. You'll probably find it boring as all get out. But I thought it was cool and I wanted to share it with you. So enjoy the video. So my contact is going to be at that point of the ouch. And if it is ridged at that point, my action is to be is to kind of separate that ridge while I'm lifting the parietal bones off of the or away from the temporals. If it was furrowed, my I, my contact would be more to approximate the sagittal suture at that same point. So I would start there. And then I would move posterior words to find, oh, there's another sore spot. And we'll work it there and do the same procedure. Compressing in, lifting the parietals, have them breathe. It, it's not really phase of respiration with this. But let me tell you this, often with the, usually with the category three patient, this is usually somebody who has a disc lesion. When I say disc lesion, we're talking usually herniation, frank herniation, where they have radicular pain, have the classic sciatic pain. When you're doing this procedure, you can have them attempt to lift the leg of sciatica. Say, for instance, she had a <clears throat> sciatica on her right leg. I'm going to have you try to lift the leg up a little bit on the right side. Just that, just like that. Oftentimes, just initiating the contraction is good enough. Other times, they can't or won't even do that because it's so painful. Then you just try to have them contract the muscles of the leg without lifting the leg. Okay. To help what you're doing here, or to test to see if they nope to help the procedure. What does that mean Sagittal if they have a tight, they have a tenor spot there in the sagittal suture? These are all things we're looking at opening. If you look at the, uh, these are all parts of the uh, cerebrum that are affiliated with the lumbar region of the body. Got it. Hmm. Interesting. Thank you.